selenium is great because it helps your actual thyroid you to produce thyroid period number one number two it helps the conversion of t4 to t3 and we know t3 is the active hormone okay we don't want inactive we, we don't want thyroid hormone to sit in inactive form we want it to turn into t3 which is the active form and selenium really help does that <laughs> I want to talk about selenium. Okay. Selenium is pretty freaking amazing. And selenium in, is, is an antioxidant as well, which means that it prevents uh, the damage. So imagine it as an armor as well, but there are so many other mechanisms, which is selenium works, but really key is selenium works really well with vitamin E with it. And so, which is why the, I scoured the earth <laughs> to find a selenium that comes with vitamin E and that really helps it work. Okay. So don't just go buy any selenium. And in our store, we have a selenium that specifically has vitamin E with it and it really makes it work a lot better. And so why is selenium so great is that selenium is great because it helps your actual thyroid you to produce thyroid period. Number one, number two, it helps the conversion of T4 to T3. And we know T3 is the active hormone. Okay, we don't want inactive. We, we don't want thyroid hormone to sit in inactive form. We want it to turn into T3, which is the active form, and selenium really help does that. So there are also hundreds of other things that selenium does, but I want to keep it super simple. And typically with selenium, with anyone that has known autoimmune disease, my recommendation is to take two of those a day, um, the selenium with vitamin E. Okay, and there are dietary sources of selenium, and Brazil nuts is really great. Um, so if you enjoy Brazil nuts, one Brazil nut, the amount of selenium is equal to one tablet of our selenium with vitamin E. So it's really wonderful. Selenium is wonderful and it's a great antioxidant. I always recommend thyroid protect and selenium for anybody with autoimmune disease of the thyroid and anyone specifically with goiters and cysts. Absolutely. Those two are your musks. Now there is when, if you guys go check out the thyroid bundle and the link is above and below um, as well, if you want to check out the thyroid bundle, there's many other uh, um, items in the thyroid bundle and all of them are designed specifically for people with autoimmune or non-autoimmune thyroid problems. And there's a lot of reasons why I would choose, um, why I chose those and why we use those in our program, right? But what I do want to say is, is that I'm not going to go into every single one of those things because that's not the point of this video. And I want to keep videos short and sweet. So what happens is, is that there are other vitamins and nutrients, vitamin A being another one, and vitamin A, you've heard me talk about why it's really good for cold and flu prevention, why it's really good for leaky gut, incredible for thyroid overall. And we have vitamin A and that's 10,000 IUs and it's one a day for people trying to prevent cold and flu or for people dealing with active leaky gut or anybody with thyroid nodules and goiters, vitamin A 10,000 IUs is really important, okay? Vitamin D is really important. And then people also ask me about what's a multivitamin that I recommend. And um, the one I recommend is actually this one. Uh, it's called, it's, it's from um, it's vitamin nutrients and it's called minimal essentials. It is part of our thyroid bundle. And there's, in, there's literally a thousand reasons why I have chosen that one as the multi for people with autoimmune disease of the thyroid or even low thyroid having autoimmune disease. Um, but um, suffice it to say, it's got a really good amount of um, some of the vitamin A in there. It's got the D, it's got um, uh, some selenium, but not enough to offset what the amount that I'm telling you. But really great is that it has the proper amount of copper and zinc, which copper and zinc are crucial to hormone, um, to hormones um, being made and for hormone to be, for your body to be sensitive to hormones. So uh, that's in a multi that I recommend for anybody uh, with any autoimmune disease, honestly. But specifically for people with autoimmune disease of the thyroid is the only one, it's the go-to and it's the one I love. Um, so I am hoping, was that helpful? Did you guys learn something new? Can you guys show me some love and write down one thing in the comment section that you learned today that you didn't know before? I'm just gonna take a quick look at the comment section right now and, and take a look if there's any additional questions or feedback from you guys, all right? I'm seeing um, Jenny says, vitamin A, 10,000 IUs for leaky gut, 100%, and not all vitamin A are created equal. You want a really good form of vitamin A, which is we carry vitamin A in our store. It's, it's not expensive, but you gotta get the right form of vitamin A, 10,000 IUs a day. Uh, be careful if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant. You wanna avoid those high doses if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Just FYI, vitamin A. Today's, uh, this is this week's autoimmune table talk, and it was all about thyroid thyroid nodules and cysts. I did not go into all the different things about thyroid. Just this topic alone, I could probably teach on for a week. So I hope that was super helpful. 
And in summary is glutathione cream, which is thyroid protect is going to be really important. And even if you put a tiny little, I would say pea size over your thyroid, um, once or twice a day, it's going to be incredible. And make sure you repeat a thyroid ultrasound about six to 12 months later. Um, if you are just trying to prevent thyroid nodules and cysts and you're trying to uh, avoid uh, cancer, uh, thyroid protect is wonderful. Selenium is also really great, especially with vitamin E. And it's two of those tablets per day would be really great. Other vitamin uh, to consider would be vitamin A, vitamin D, um, as well as copper and zinc. All right, everybody. I hope that was super helpful. Um, and thank you for all the comments. And for those of you, uh, if you want to learn more about our program, join our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, or check out drbaggy.com. And on the top and bottom of this post, you should be seeing a link to also our thyroid bundle where you can actually learn a lot more. And I have specifically talked about why I recommend each of those vitamin supplements or medical food for thyroid. So I hope that was super helpful for you guys. Have a good weekend. All right, everybody. Thank you.